How to make a professional video that looks simply stunning. It's done very easily, but looks expensive. Today we will break it down. And if you can't make such videos, such renders, that we will create today, which you can see on the screen right now, then this video will bring you closer to that desired result. Okay, let's get started. We have headphones, we have a camera. I have a camera of my own. The camera doesn't play a significant role for us right now, but let's focus on the lighting. Uh, where do we start? We will start by turning off all the lights and analyzing what each light is responsible for. Let's look at the first one. We have the dome light. Let's turn off the background so as not to get distracted. Since our scene is yellow, we choose a color that is not purely white, but slightly yellow-orange to make it look uh, uh, more professional and fit with the object. We just have an HDRI map also with low intensity. What we see here in the render is that we have small highlights along the edge of our headphones. The next historical light is positioned on the right. It creates a contouring beautiful white light. Not purely white. It also has some orange tint. It creates a very cool effect, which separates it from the background. This is really what is needed. Without it, it won't look as it should. Okay, look, we have a target. This target is simply a null object. We create a null object. We create the light. We move back a little. We have a light that is facing that direction. However, oh, we make a target. In the target object, we select null. After this, uh, no matter how we did not move our area light, it will always look at our O oh, null object, our target. See, we can move the target itself and animate, for example, the light in this way. I use this method all the time. And in this project as well. All right, the next area light also creates an atmosphere with a pleasant orange tint. It is also positioned on the right side of the camera. So if we look at the camera light, it's shifted to the right. You should never let the light come in like this. It will wash out the image for us and it will look unnatural and unattractive. We already have two light sources that create this kind of orange light. Yes, this white one. We can make it less strong. For that, we just adjust the intensity. We reduce it and now it doesn't stand out as much. We need to look ahead at how it will blend with the background. Let's take the next array light. This is our array light, which creates this kind of contour light effect. Here we can observe this. Here it is without it. Here it is with it. It's strong enough. If we increase it, we will be able to see how it affects our subject. All right, the next object. This is our fill light. It's needed so that the objects aren't too dark. Because if we turn on our main light, you can see it's like, ah, it's white. Let's make it more yellow. If we turn on the main light and turn off our fill light, it will be too dark. Look, this one area, for example, is too dark. So we have another one. Area light. So that it isn't too dark. And the next thing we have is the background. It creates a very strong atmosphere. In fact, it's just a plane with a texture applied to it. Ram. Look, this is the setting for our color of orange and our not too black, not really black color, but almost black. 
We turn this on in color and in emission. All right. After that, we can say that our render is ready. We're just doing some animation, if we can, but... And that's it. That's basically all we need for color. Professional, yet easy to use. Lighting in Cinema 4D with shift. So go ahead, give it a try, and don't forget to like it. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Ask for advice. If needed, I will answer them. So subscribe to the channel, follow, subscribe to my Instagram, where I post reels that you can get inspired by. Check them out. Follow me. See you soon. Bye-bye.